Hello friends, so today we'll be talking about the fluid heads and why did I want one, what is it and what kind of alternatives are there for the camera movements. In general the fluid head is one of the most popular or not necessarily fluid head but the type of mo movement that the fluid head does which is pan or tilt is most widely used in Hollywood or any filmmaking productions simply because it's one of the simplest ones you can do while the camera is mounted on a tripod and there are a couple of issues with that for me personally that only limits you to two types of movements um, yes it depends if you are like mounting over the subject and you're rotating that's another type of movement but it's a very narrow use I personally would like a bit more freedom and a bit more movement when it comes to my productions and I recently purchased it because I never had one for a change because I always relied on either solely have it on a tripod or handheld moving it myself and I thought what's the big deal you know because everyone talks about how smooth and nice it is to use one but I think a lot of those people who talk about these things don't actually use it or don't actually produce anything and I had experienced it firsthand last night when I tried to compare the movements that I could achieve with using the fluid head versus what I could do in post and to be honest I get better results in post personally because yes there is a little bit of perception difference uh, when moving the head compared to like moving the frame but the amount of time it requires you to set up everything and then trying again and again and again because the fluid head doesn't really have the really nice smooth motion and I'll explain that a bit later why but it just for me it's actually a lot faster to get that bit done in post contrary to most people's belief because currently there is this trend of getting everything done in camera and I almost fell into it myself I thought that yes it's an romantic idea of trying to get everything done in camera but realistically some things we already have technology that bypass that and I want to come back to why the fluid head might not be necessarily a good thing for you or even me in this case because one and most importantly the camera system that I'm using is not heavy enough and because it's not heavy enough you don't ever have the really nice smooth motion that you could achieve either in post or using electronic head or slider head combination or even gimbal and I think that's why a lot of people actually moved away from the whole fluid head spiel or those mechanically more assisted devices because you need a large camera you need to think about 10 20 kilos worth of camera to be able to have that smooth motion because if you have a he heavy camera you can actually already shoot handheld and it will look amazing you don't even need the stabilizers but because we're using such a small cameras like in my case the black magic 6k or any other kind of mirrorless camera compact camera or even full frame camera they're most likely to be in around one kilogram range and that is the problem because when you have such a low weight the fluid head doesn't really help you to have the smooth motion and I see a lot of hipster like filmmakers and whatnot trying to do everything by hand and unfortunately it shows in their videos it, it's not a smooth action and if you're creating content that let's say is about something digital cameras or some sort of equipment the mood that you would be wanting to set for that kind of content should be clean digital and more likely machine like not human like so yes it works shooting something like Tarantino's movie or Spielberg's movie when you can get away with some imperfections and if anything it actually complements the story and complements the content that they create but for what we do products advertisement YouTube I think either gimbal or an electronically controlled slider with head combo is probably the best way to go and so yeah that's my experience been using the fluid head unfortunately we passed the time where they were useful they were useful at the times where big television cameras were used and or film cameras were mounted on them then yes they were fantastic but I think we're way beyond that and uh, I just recently got the Manfrotto MVH 500 AH and yeah my experience was that I could not get as good of a shots that I do in post with a stationary tripod 
versus that fluid head. So yeah, every day is school day. Right. That's it for me for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.